This is the Daimler Ferret by Honourable Lead Boiler Suit, which has got to be pretty much the best name you've ever heard, isn't it, really? They do a large, fairly large range of resin vehicles and some quite unusual ones in there as well. I thoroughly recommend having a look. They do some really quite nice ones. This is the second armoured car I've got off them. I've got a uh, Salad Saracen. Saracen? Saladin? Can't remember. As well, which I'm painting up as an ambulance. We'll play with that later. This one, I think they're quite reasonable, about 20 quid as well. Now, this one's uh, UN, because I found out there was somebody who actually supplied UN decals, um, which is Kingfisher Miniatures. And they also supplied the number plates that you can see on this. Now, the number plates um, are actually for the Warrior, not for a ferret, but how much of an anorak are we going to be about this? Let's face it. Come on, who knows much about British military number plates? Well, I do, and I know this. If you see a vehicle that was, say, like this, 43SP77, SP stands for Special Projects. Uh, so it's a prototype or a development vehicle. That's as much as I know about army number plates, and frankly, I don't really care. These work really quite nicely, and if you need a source of military uh, British army number plates, I would recommend them. They do quite an interesting range of decals as well. And I quite like them. And I also thought to illustrate the size of the ferret, we'd put David Fletcher next to it. Now, David's not exactly a tall fellow. I could say slightly rotund, if we're really honest. But he is actually really, really interesting. He's ever such a nice man to talk to. Um, if you've seen any of his videos, you'll know that he's quite a self effacing fellow. And he's absolutely just like that in real life. There's no side to him at all. Ever so nice man. So, that's my ferret. I suppose my ferret and my Fletcher. Ha, ha, ha. The only this did as a sort of well, I think it's possibly fair to say HLBSR. They're fairly basic vehicles. There is a bit of um, uh, super detailing you can do with them, which doesn't mean to say, of course, that they are bad vehicles. It's just they're they're they're, they're fairly simple, um, because they're not actually very expensive, but they're very very nice little models, and I like them. A great deal, and I will be buying quite a lot more of them because they do do some quite unusual and interesting vehicles. Um, the Sand Guard Sand Channels was actually off uh, the Daimler Dingo. I did try making one, but it didn't go very well. And I haven't finished the Dingo yet, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, so I nicked the part off it. And that really is that. It needs one or two more touches, could possibly do with an aerial. I do like seeing aerials on vehicles. Um, the Union flag on the back is entirely fictional, as is, frankly, the placement of the number plate. That should actually be what I've seen from Bovington's example that I've seen today. It's more in the middle. And that marking is actually on the whole side, not on the turret. But unfortunately, my phone died taking all my pictures of it, so I was doing it largely from memory. Um, yes, not a great deal else to say about the thing, really. Except if you're looking for something, you know, some unusual vehicles, give them a look, because they do do some quite nice stuff. So, it was... Hewitt paints in UN colours because I just fancied the idea of a UN vehicle. And looking over Kingfisher Miniatures uh, Deckles website, they did quite a nice um, UN set. So I'm going to do some more UN vehicles, I think. They just sort of look a bit different, really. Um, well, we all know all the different shades of green and so on, but having a bright white vehicle in the collection, I think, is actually going to look quite nice. 